Hey guys, so today I'm going to try to follow Trisha Paytas when she does her makeup. And the video is titled, Trying to Cover My Ugly Face. So I felt like that was appropriate for how I'm feeling today. Um, she's wearing a black sports bra on the video, and I didn't really feel comfortable wearing a black sports bra. So I'm wearing a black tank top, because it kind of stained. I have my hair, like, messy on top of my head like she does. So, looks like she starts off by using a CC cream. And I don't have a CC cream, so that matches my skin right now so I'm gonna just use this foundation because like the tube is kind of the same like it looks the same um let's see how she applies it okay so it looks like she's applying it with a sponge so I have a sponge here um and then it also seems like she is not applying the foundation directly to the acne she's just going around it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just go ahead and apply it like she is and avoiding my acne that I have which is ironic because I kind of have acne in the same place that she does right now on my cheek so Trisha is somebody that I have always watched um like forever for years and years and I've watched her she just is kind of a little problematic and I don't necessarily agree with everything that she does or says but she's just entertaining and lately she's been putting out a lot of makeup videos so it just she seems more like like down to earth again and not like trolly so I kind of have been enjoying watching just her normal videos okay so now it looks like she's going in with a stick foundation and applying it directly on any of the blemishes just to give them a little bit more coverage I'm guessing so I have this Milani one here I'm gonna apply it directly on my blemishes I don't really feel like this is doing anything. She's using a sponge, so that's what I'm doing. I bought this stick foundation and a couple months ago, and I tried using it once, and I'm like, I don't know how to use a stick foundation, so it's just been sitting there. So it was obviously waiting for me to use it for a video like this. Yeah, I don't think this is doing anything. Okay, now she's going back in with that original CC cream, so I guess we're going to apply a little more of that. It's funny because she's actually talking about how she's been having a lot of anxiety lately. And it's so crazy because I have been too. It's like, I've always had anxiety, um, especially the last like five years or so. But I feel like lately it's it's gotten so much worse just with everything that's going on, I think. Um... I think a lot of it's just the unknown. A lot of times I get really bad anxiety with the weather. But it's weird because right now, it's like... It's like that impending doom kind of anxiety where I just feel like every little thing, like... I'm not kidding you guys. Like, I hear a bird chirp and I'm like, why is that bird chirping? And I get, like, freaked out from it. And it's such an uncomfortable feeling and I, I really hate it. And one of the things that I've done to help myself with anxiety that's really helped me is I just think of all the times in the past when I've had anxiety and how I got through it and when I think about that it helps me get through it like what I'm going through in the moment so like I'm like okay I a year ago there was a there, were, there was supposed to be a really bad tornado and I felt the exact same way I feel now and everything turned out okay so like it just, it helps, it helps me when I think like that. So, okay, let's see what she does next here. Okay, she's using like a flat brush like this for her concealer. And she actually applied it directly onto the brush. And then it looks like she kind of kept it, I typically go pretty low with my concealer and then bronze up. But she keeps it pretty high. So, oh, yeah. You look at that right there. We'll just keep blending that in, I guess. It feels weird applying this with this brush. I'm also going to link the original video in my description bar, so if you want to go watch her video. She's not, like, a makeup YouTuber, but she's just been doing her makeup, I think, since, you know, being on quarantine and stuff. So she didn't go quite this low. She kind of stopped here, so maybe I'll take... I'm going to just kind of take my... Uh, sponge I used for foundation and go over that since hers was a little bit higher. Okay, so she uses the same brush to put concealer on the top of her nose and then lip. 
and chin. And it looks like she has a lot on top of her lips. So that's what we're doing. We're going to put a lot there. She's went a little bit on her forehead. Okay, it looks like she regretted using that brush. So we're going to take the... She took her sponge and kind of went over. Okay, we're moving on to contour. And she's using a stick contour. So I'm going to go ahead and use a stick contour as well. I'm using a Smashbox one. I think she's using Fenty Beauty. But she just does a couple lines there. And then on her forehead. She kind of goes down further on her forehead than I normally do. Draw. And then she used a brush at first, or um, yeah, she used like the same brush she was using for concealer, and then she switched and used a um, her sponge. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my sponge right away. Actually, I really like how that worked. Like I never use a, I never use a sponge, especially to blend out like a cream contour. But I kind of love that. Come on, Trish, with your makeup tips and tricks here. That looks... I actually honestly really like that, how that's blending. Okay, it looks like she is going in hard with... <laughs> Look how much I... <laughs> the struggle is real today. Okay, so she's going in hard with the baking, which obviously I'm going to as well because I just grabbed a ton of powder here. Um, and she's just going in right underneath her eyes with powder. She's just, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not, I can't laugh too much because then it's going to just fly everywhere. She said you can't do too much, so... Oh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm inhaling it. What if I just coughed and like a bunch of powder came flying out of my mouth? Okay, so she really just does it underneath her eyes, which freaks me out because when I powder underneath my eyes or like bake, it always gets creasy. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that. So, all right, let's see what she's next. All right, so she's gone to her brows next and she's using an Anastasia Beverly Hills powder which I don't have any of the powders but I have um the, she's actually using the medium brown shade I have the pomade of that and I found this naked two basics palette um the undone color that darker shade at the bottom back looks very similar to the um medium brown shade so she's just kind of filling in her brows with with the powder so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do So yeah, let me know, do you guys watch Trisha Paytas at all? Um, if you do, what do you think about like her trolling and stuff? I feel like she's had a lot of controvers controversy the last like couple weeks, but it it kind of frustrates me because I don't know, like, I, d I just don't understand. I don't understand if she is doing it on purpose, if she's being serious, if she just has like some mental issues that she's trying to work through I don't know so it's so hard because I really do like her and I have watched her for so long but there have been a couple videos lately where I'm like I just unsubscribe because this is getting ridiculous and then she goes and puts up these nice like good makeup videos that are fun to watch and just like her fun videos so I'll probably stay subscribed so it looks like she's priming her eyes with a like beigey champagne like cream eyeshadow and she's using I don't she didn't say what it was I'm just using a Sephora collection waterproof um I don't know what this is it's a velour velvet eyeshadow and it's funny because she says that the one that she's using she's not sure if it's still good and I'm kind of wondering the same about this one because I honestly can't really remember when I got it 
All right, next she's moving on to eyeshadow, and she is using the Jeffree Star Blue, Bud Blue Blood Palette. If you have any Jeffree Star palettes, let me know which ones you have. Um, I've never used any of Jeffree Star's palettes, so kind of like want to order one. But I have, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Original Palette, and it has kind of the same color that she's using. She's using like this teal color and like a bluish like navy color. So I'm going to use those two, and she's just putting the, the teal shade all over her lid. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'm not usually a color eyeshadow person, but we're following Trisha's look and that's what she's doing. So that's what I'm doing. This is actually so pretty. It reminds me of like a mermaid. I'm pretty sure that um, my niece, Keela, did, Keela, if you're watching, did you have a mermaid party once? I can't remember if you did. I don't, actually don't think you did. Okay, now she's taking that darker navy shade, which, or blue. This blue is a little bit more, like, vibrant, I think. So it's going to not quite be the same, but we'll get, and she's just putting it on the outer corner. Um, we'll get a close enough effect. Okay, so I'm not, I kind of don't hate this. This is kind of fun. I don't know, like, in my real life, like, where you actually leave your house, if I would do this but it's definitely a fun look for my adventures that are gonna part I'm gonna partake in soon which is a walk I can't say that very loud because Colton is sleeping right down below me so if he hears me he is definitely waking up and he's gonna want to go right now but I'm following a Trisha look so he just hopped did you hear him like he's like <sighs> not impressed and I'm not sure if my neighbors are going to be impressed either. Half of my neighbors probably think that I'm crazy because I come out with makeup on every day. Or half of them think I am just like super productive in my house and on Zoom calls all day. So like that's why I have makeup on, which is not the case. Um, and the other half probably wonder why they look into my window because there's like I'm facing my house at house right now and what the heck I'm doing doing my makeup with the camera in front of me. So this is pretty similar. Hers is a little bit more winged out but with the shape of my eye it's hard to get that like kind of more winged look so this is as close as that's going to go. Let's see what she does next. Okay, so she's taking a pretty light shade now and going above everything. And she's not being very uh, precise with it. She's just kind of swiping it. So that's what we're going to do. Kind of giving me, um, what was that one lady in that movie? I never actually watched it. I like the blue eyeshadow. Was it like Everybody Love on Everybody Loves Raymond? I can't remember. Yes, with this 90s. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I never do like a like a lighter shade on my eyebrows, so fancy. Alright, so now it looks like she's just swiping a like darker shade on the entire lower lash line. And it kind of gives me a little anxiety watching how she's doing it, but she's like going up into her eye almost. I never do this part either. <laughs> you guys look at me. I feel like I look like 20 years older. Okay, let's see what she's doing next. <laughs> okay, she's going in with some lashes, you guys. This is going to be bad. So I'm going to just use the Velour Mink Lashes. Um, I'm not sure which, one, which ones she's using, but... These ones are nice and full, and it looks like she's doing some some pretty full lashes. So let's apply the glue. This is going to be bad. I honestly haven't put lashes on in forever, and she said that she hasn't up applied her own lashes in a long time either. So I'm going to struggle right along with her. I Fun fact about me, 90% of the time when I put on lashes, 
Like, you know, like the one side is shorter and that's what's going on the inside of your eyelash. Literally 90% of the time I put it on backwards and I put the shorter end on the outside and have to redo them. So if you do that too, you're not alone. I think this lash glue, this is a duo one. Um, I th I'm pretty sure that this one, it kind of like changes colors when it's ready to go on. All right. Okay, this isn't going so bad. Kind of doing good. Am I a pro? And she doesn't put any mascara, like, to blend the two lashes together, so. I don't know. Ow! I think it's my eye. I thought it was going good, except that I realized I applied it to my lash instead of my eyelid. Ugh. Ow! I'm gonna have to apply mascara, even though she didn't, just because that looks really bad. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other one off camera, because there's only so much embarrassment I can take in a day. Okay, this is as good as these are going to get. Um, so she just takes her brush that she was using earlier and kind of brushes away any of that. The baking that was still there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then she puts some mascara on the lower lash line. So let's apply some mascara. Okay, it looks like she's going to go ahead and powder her forehead now. So we're going to... Take this Urban Decay Naked Powder. Just go ahead and powder my forehead. And then she contours over the cream contour. So I'm going to, I'm not sure what bronzer she's using. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. Also these lashes are not like fully on. Like I think they're falling off, so. And then she just goes under her cheek and then up onto her side a little bit okay again not quite sure what she's using for blush but it looks like it's a kind of a like a corally peachy color so I'm just gonna use this wet n wild color icon Ooh, pearlescent pink and it kind of is like peachy undertones she's just going right over the top of her cheekbone so let's do it like that Okay, she's using a Fenty highlighter, and it's like a white color. So I'm just going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Nicole Garo palette. And this is, oh, there's a white highlighter in there too. It's called Forever Lit. So we're just going to use that, and she applied it right at the top of her cheeks. Kind of pretty. And then she also applied it to the inner tear duct. So let's go ahead and... This is so much for me. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling this look. All right, let's see what she's next. If we're lining our lips, she's using a, it looks like a pretty neutral color. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I think it's the L'Oreal Color Rich Matte. And it is the shade 1112. She does have some big lips so we're gonna overline a little bit this looks like she is as well okay so for her lips she's in a, she used a very like peachy kind of nude um i found the closest this is the Too faced melted and it's in the shade melted nude um, let's see. It's actually very similar to the color she used. Kind of like it. 
Um, and then she went over the top with like a more peachy colored gloss. So we're going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel. You guys, I think I nailed this look. What do you think? I'm going to try to put up a picture um, so you can see how hers turned out. I think I look like, like I did just as good. At, like I feel like I did just the same as she did. Um, and I kind of don't hate the look. It's a lot though, right? Like what do you think? Do you like this look compared to my normal look? Let me know. Um, yeah. Also, if you watch Trisha's, Trisha's channel, have her, um, let her know that I recreated it and have her come over here and watch it and see what she thinks if I... I did as good as she did. She did. All right, guys. So that's it, I guess. Um, yeah. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like it. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I really would like if you subscribe because I haven't gotten very many subscribers, and I want to get my subscriber count up a little bit. Um, and I will just talk to you guys in my next video on Tuesday or sooner, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Um, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away.